This year, as you know, um, we haven't even come close to reaching anywhere near our annual snowfall or our snowfall for the month of December. Hey, my name is Andrew Tassel. I'm on the Team Utah snowboard team. It's middle, early January, and it's 50 degrees out. We were lucky enough to have some extremely cold temperatures during that time period, November and December, and our absolutely fabulous uh, snowmaking team was able to get us open and get us open uh, everywhere that we can make snow almost for the holidays. It feels like spring weather, but the snowmakers have been working hard all year. Everybody's been killing it to bring us like winter conditions considering the complete lack of snow we've been having. It's been awesome. We are going out to Willie's. We don't get there too often. We were there a few years ago. And then uh, we're going to go out there, set the guns up, dig all the hydrants, get it ready to, um, to make snow on. It's supposed to get cold next couple of days here, and uh, we want to be ready. so. We're gonna get out there, set it all up. We got a couple different things we use to find hydrants out on the hill. Like I said, we, uh, I've been here eight years and um, this is only my second time on wheelies. So we don't make it here very often because normally there's enough snow. You can hear it down there. It's a big metal lid over a culvert. That's where our um, hydrant and uh, our air and water hydrant is. So we're gonna dig it out and uh, hopefully get a gun set up on it. These guys, they have to go up there and they have to set up their guns, uh, whether they're using the ones portable or whether they're turning on fans or towers. We have many different types of guns. This is our most common sled gun. It's called a uh, double rat. They weigh about 160 pounds, I guess, and we lug these things around on the mountain. It's our most mobile gun. We use these on, you know, the majority of the runs that we make on. Tiring process, all these guns, you know, there's going to be 30 of them by the end of it on this run. Most of them walk down like this. It's tough because you're fighting the gun the whole way you're walking down. This is such a steep pitch. This thing, if I trip or slip and this thing gets going, it's, there's nothing to stop it. So, To those guys, they do it. They make it happen for us. We've got six guns up above us there right at the top of the run. We're just going to hammer this top pitch until it slides out just because uh, Hasn't been track packed, it's, it's all natural snow, you know, it's gonna go eventually. We're just gonna make heavy on top of it and wait for it. After that, we should be in the clear. We send somebody up there and they're thinking, we really don't wanna go. But we send them up there and they put it back together day after day, you know. We'll pull these guns out. You know, these are 50 foot hoses. So we drag them all the way out um, and then kind of just work our way back towards the hydrant, you know, make snow, different piles, try and cover the whole run. Normally we come out to Park City every year and um, there's always a ton of snow. Last year was huge amounts of snow. This year, um, there's not even really any snow on the ground when you're driving up here. The lifts, the runs, we're still really, really good. They've had this machines going the whole time we've been here, so. We think they've done a very, very good job for all these people that are here. Uh, over the two weeks of the, the Christmas holiday, um, we were fortunate with the efforts of our snowmakers and groomers to have the best conditions in the region, um, probably in the West, we feel in the West. Uh, hello, my name is Enrique Estrada. I come from Mexico. Uh, this is my first time here at Park City, but this time uh, here at Park City, we don't have like much snow. And I think it's a great job what uh, people here at uh, Park City Mountain Resort are doing to make uh, the runs and make uh, us snowboarders be able to ride as well as skiers and have a good time. So it's a combination of you know not only what we do for ourselves, we, we make snow for us, for us to be able to operate, for our guests to be able to ski, but the town relies upon the investment that we make into snowmaking and grooming into lift operations, into every aspect of our business because it's the engine that drives this community during the winter.